right off the bat, I'm not a tech channel. I do circusy things. I just bought a mermaid tail. I talk about things that are important to me as if my thoughts will have value to others somehow. I realized when reviewing a longer list of things I do and enjoy to make content around, it would not be inaccurate to label me a creative individual. So let me lean into the stereotype around that type of person and let you know. Specs, numbers, the technical side of why the tools I use to create work, those things do not stick in my brain. I can do a ton of research with my husband or more realistically listen to the research my husband has done and understand why a specific camera or computer part is exactly what I need for my particular needs, but I cannot tell you any of those reasons. The information just doesn't adhere to the inside of my noggin. It's too filled with all the pretty things I want to make, the different hows that go into all of that, and the most effective ways I can think of to make people smile. And so my finger does not hang on to megapixels and gigahertz and bandwidth. But also, I have a brand new editing computer that I'm very thankful for and love very much. And while I generally do not create content around computers, this computer is very important to the content I create. And so I wanted to share her with you. Plus, my husband built it himself after a ton of research and never having built a computer before. And I think that's insanely impressive. And the process looked super cool, so I want to share that with you.
I realize this is overbuilt even for my current needs. I don't only make YouTube videos, I also make wedding videos professionally, so I did need something beefier than my laptop, which was just was having a hard time of it. So the 3090 was the only graphics card available as we were, you know, we stood out in the cold in line for hours waiting for Micro Center to open in January, just hoping that they would get a graphics card in stock. And this was the graphics card they got. So, you know, we went for it. We needed a new computer. We had decided on this already. I had projects I needed to get done. It needed to happen. So I just ended up with something, you know, super awesome. And hopefully down the road, my skills will improve. So I'll be able to use this to the, you know, fullness of it ab its ability. Jesse picked like the red and green colors. And I think they look super cool because it reminds me of like a Star Trek vibe. And I just love that like computer look about it. So like, I just, I just really like it. Like the minimal, um, what's it called? Minimal RGB, but it's like, it's kind of sleek and kind of cool and nice. So it's like, I just think it's really cool. I also have Wonder Woman in there now because she matched the color scheme and I thought it was cool. <laughs> Bulbasaur likes to hang out up top as well. He also matches the color scheme. But yeah, I just wanted to document this part of my life as well because like, what an incredible thing I get to have. Oh, swim towards you. And I'm super grateful for it. I just wanted to kind of like, you know, take a moment and just really appreciate it. This is what's gonna let me edit my mermaid swimming in a spring video soon. It's what's gonna let me edit my next aerial uh, routine performance thing. Like, it's just such a cool, like little behind the scenes part of my life that I just wanted to, you know, take a moment and appreciate. If you guys wanna hit the like button, that'll tell YouTube that this video is like, you know, maybe okay to watch. And if you wanna subscribe, that means you will see other videos I make, maybe, probably, you might have to ring the bell. I have no idea how it works, but that's up to you. If you wanna come along, I don't know, I'm just here hanging out. You'll be where you are, it's, it's a good time. I'll learn how to do an outro eventually. <laughs> but yeah, love you guys, see you next time.